due to the particular rapid pace of its development, Togo has many assets to be logistic hub of West Africa. Whatever in terms of road and transport infrastructure, the industrial park, the choice of some major sub-regional and continental financial institutions to build their headquarters in terms of hotel and leisure infrastructure, agricultural development and tourism. This country of about 8 million people with its modest size is the one natural gateway for any investor from the Asian, European and American continents. This has been made possible thanks to the enlightened leadership of President or Esosim Nanya Singbe and with the support of technical and financial partners, including the People's Republic of China. By 2022, and based on assets such as serious economic governance and an improvement in the business climate, Togo is a main for growing rates of 7.6%. The priority sectors are agriculture, industry and manufacturer, information and communication technologies, and energy. The harbor of Lome, equipped with ultra-modern equipment with a comfortable geostrategic situation, is the largest deep water port on the Gulf Coast of Guinea. With more than 17 meters deep, this asset allows it to accommodate both large-scale merchants and ships for all continent and destined for local consumption, as well as other countries in the region. More than 15 million tons of global traffic per year is the only one port that allowed joining several capitals in one day after clearing customer formalities and dematerialized. Togo is also secure road infrastructure. First of all, a road line reinforced with the large Lomi bypass for short living the arbor, the rehabilitation of existing road infrastructure, the layout of new roads, the construction of engineering structures, a series of works that gradually change the face and landscape of the country from the north to south and from east to west to the great satisfaction of users, both native and foreign as well. Other attractions, both road and tourists, the east-west corridor along the Atlantic coast completely renovated and draining more than 50% of trade flows on the Abidjan and Lagos corridor, plus the way of bypassing the Fort Alejo and the crossing of Mountain of Difale. About Nyasing Bay Eadema Airport, it's clear that this airport constitutes a symbol of development of Togo, a new super sophisticated terminal with $150 million of investment, the security system to international standards remain one of the best in the region. With this heavy investment, Lome Airport aims to accommodate 2 million passengers a year. It's served by the largest airline in the world. Togo is also imposing itself in the sub-region by the modest but encouraging pace of its industrialization. The list of products manufactured by Togolese industry is long and varied. The establishment of industry and the rush of investor are favored by the favorite attractive business climate with important facilities. In Togo, the agricultural sector is changing. Agriculture contribute more than 40% to grow domestic product. It employed a good part of young population. The creation of agropole, agricultural mechanization, and the risk-sharing agricultural finance incentive mechanism are cornerstones of the revolution. With its beautiful beach and hotel, including Hotel de Février, one of the largest and most majestic hotel in the sub-region, Togo hosts nearly 500,000 tourists per year with a certain impact on the interior chain of production of national wealth. Beyond the infrastructure and efforts in the economic field, what Togo is particularly proud of is its young and dynamic population which represent more than 60% of the active layer, youth and women train in almost all sectors of activities and will constitute the future of the Republic of Togo. Togo also enjoys good stability and key asset to effective 
and prosperous development of business. Thus, it's all Togolese, both female and male alike, whatever national or resident, will feel more proud.